Hello boys and girls and welcome to another episode of the Iron Meditation, the Art of Living and Lifting podcast. I'm your host, Coach Michael. Athletic immaturity is a state where the athlete relies on external factors, thinking that the key to his progress lies out there in something. The best way to illustrate this is when you scroll uh, IG or social media and you're seeing some post by some guy, maybe even mine, (laughs) I don't know, where I'm showing this special exercise, this special variety of jerk with poses or snatch in uh, maybe gloves with additional swing and like in other stuff. And you're hitting this at the lower right uh, bottom of the screen, you have this save tab and you're saving this play for later thinking, oh, like this is the variation I need to do. I need to try, I need to practice. Maybe I need more of these in my practice. This is usually the case when you're searching for special programs that go around about some uh, variations in programming that go around trying to quote unquote solve the program. This is usually the cases okay, that hint for athletic immaturity. Here is the thing. Special exercises are done either at the very early stage of your athletic development, when you're learning the technique, when you need to make it easy for the brain and for the nervous system to understand. So by technical manipulations, we kind of stretching the time that passes between rep and rep, allowing the brain to adapt, like allowing the technique to really think in the nervous system because the motor cortex in our brain and the cognitive cortex uh, area in our brain are not the same area. So when we see and we understand, we still cannot implement or we cannot execute the technique because it's two different uh, motor sections. The second um, scenario where you are entitled and you earn the right to use special exercises is when you are a top athlete, okay? Where you basically come like almost close, like inches close to your genetic potential. This is where you reintroducing manipulations to push, to expand the body, to reignite the progress. And, but this is the case where you're fighting for inches, where you're fighting for reps, where you're fighting for this half a kilo on a barbell. Yeah, but this is the case where you deadlift about 500 kilograms and you're fighting for additional kilo on the bar because it may break the world record and put you on top. This is where top gear of X that jerked 32s for 189 were fighting for additional two to three reps to do 191, 92, to be on top of their game. And they do need some special variety, like quote unquote secret exercises to really push the body and to make this quantum leap. People who are in the middle just need to do the mirror lifting and this is where our psychology fails us. True story, I asked my coach not recently, like, hey, why don't I do these special exercises that I know, like bumps and the uh, pose snatches, etc. <laughs> and he like looked at me, like it was online, but he looked at me. I felt it. <laughs> and he said, Listen, there is nothing wrong with your technique. The moment that you will stop feeling sorry for yourself and pity yourself and really grind the work and push yourself, you'll have the progress that you so want. No additional or special variety exercise will take you there. 
And this is what any Soviet coach from Soviet era is doing still. You come to them, they're telling you squat, snatch, and nothing else. You do some excessive lifts for biceps, for like these um, segmental muscles, but you will do only the core lift until you cry, literally. Nothing, uh, nothing sexy, nothing uh, psychological deloading, and this is what is so hard. Your our psyche cannot handle this brutal, boring work of just putting the reps of the same thing over and over and over again. I'll tell you something else. If I'll put only the core lifts that I do on my Instagram channel, I'll be out of work. <laughs> because like nobody wants to follow the guy that any like that poses like posts only like snatch or long cycle basically in the same short so what i can do i just can take one take and then recycle it <laughs> but it's boring and um, now seriously then the question is why i do what i do because there is a bridge that must be made programming wise and coaching wise and this is what coaches need to understand that when we accept a student he is athletically immature like the five-year-old kid okay everybody else is wrong it's not that program, it's not that coach. I didn't do these exercises because they don't or cannot handle. So by introducing this variety of exercises, we develop the psychological conditioning for physiological work that will come in the future. This is the same as raising our children. Slowly you introduce by game, by play, by variety, and you slowly condition them to be grown up men and women that can psychologically have a handle the day to day, quote unquote, monotonous life. Uh, same as long cycle or snatch set where you do the same thing day out work family kids work family kids and from time to time you do some fun stuff so this resilience to uh, stress is built and introduced slowly with the key elements being patience and compassion understanding that things take time and same as we cannot rush nature we cannot rush athletic maturity so we come and we play and we do special exercises and we progress until one day comes when we internally realize that we have no more need for special exercises that the core lifts are enough